So my name is Sigrún Þorsteinsdóttir and I am a postdoc in the ISWMM study and I would like to present my abstract uh, that I presented here at ASH, the prevalence of smoldering multiple myeloma results from the ISWMM study. And these are my co-authors. Smoldering multiple myeloma is an asymptomatic precursor condition of multiple myeloma and currently screening for smoldering myeloma is not recommended. Patients are therefore identified incidentally and only a small minority of multiple myeloma patients are diagnosed at the smoldering stage. The aim of our study was to map the epidemiological and clinical characteristics of smoldering myeloma in the general population based on our large population-based screening study, the ISTFMM study. I think, uh, yes, many of you have seen this picture, but in short, all participants over the age of 40 in Iceland were invited to participate in the ISWMM study and were screened with a blood sample with serum protein electrolysis and free light chain analysis. And those with an abnormal screening were randomized to one of the three arms of the study. In arm one, they continued to care in the Icelandic healthcare system as if nothing had happened. In arm two, Workup and follow up where it was performed according to current guidelines. And in arm three, we followed a more uh, intensive workup and follow up. We defined smoldering myeloma as 10 to 60% bone marrow plasma cells or an M protein over three grams per deciliter. We used participants in arm three to estimate the prevalence of smoldering myeloma because we did bone marrow testing and whole body low dose CT. Uh, in everyone in that arm when possible. We used the diagnosis at baseline evaluation to define the point prevalence of smoldering myeloma. We de determined the sex, uh, age and sex specific prevalence with a fitted function of age and sex. We stratified the patients according to current smoldering risk scores for progression to multiple myeloma, as I will come back to. In total, we screened 75,422 individuals for M protein and abnormal free light chain ratio. And of those, 3,725 had an abnormal screening and were randomized to one of the three arms of the study. When this uh, analysis for this abstract was performed, we had performed uh, bone marrow sampling in 1,500 individuals and diagnosed 180 with smoldering myeloma. The majority of the smoldering cohort were men, or 61%, and median age was 70 years, but ranging from 44 to 92. 84% of the patients had, a, had an M protein present at diagnosis, and 14% only had a, an abnormal FLC analysis. If we look at the isotypes, the IgG isotype is the most common one in the cohort, followed by IgA, and light chain is 14%. Interestingly, four patients had normal FLC ratio and absent M protein at the smoldering diagnosis. But when we look at mass spec results for these patients, we see that three of them have a lambda peak that is just below the detection limit. Most of these patients have a low burden of plasma cells in the bone marrow, and 73% have 11 to 20% bone marrow uh, plasma cells in the bone marrow. We excluded uh, bone disease with whole body low dose CT and the majority of the patients or 73%. We used ARM3 to estimate the prevalence of smoldering myeloma, as I said before, and 1,279 individuals were randomized to ARM3 and bone marrow sampling was performed in 970 of those. Of those with bone marrow results, 105 were diagnosed with smoldering myeloma. So 10.8% of those with abnormal screening uh, have smoldering myeloma. From this, we estimate that the prevalence of smoldering myeloma in the total population to be 0.53% in individuals 40 years or older. The prevalence is higher in men or 0.70% and 0.37% in women. And it increases with age, as is shown in this figure here, where we show the prevalence of smoldering myeloma according to age 
uh, in males and females with 95% confidence intervals in blue for males and in red for females. We stratified the cohort according to the Spanish myeloma group model uh, and the Mayo 2018 uh, 22 20 model. And according to that, 18% of the According to the Spanish myeloma group model, 18% of the patients have high risk disease, 29% of intermediate risk, and 53% of low risk. We could only do this, uh, apply the Spanish myeloma group model and the 73 individuals where we had performed flow cytometry. But we could apply the Mayo 2018 model to all of the patients. And according to that, 10% were high risk. 27% were intermediate risk and 64% were low risk. Now, in conclusion, based on our large screen population based study, we show that the prevalence of smoldering myeloma is 0.5% in people over 40 years. And according to current risk stratification models, around one third of the smoldering patients have intermediate or high risk smoldering myeloma. And this high prevalence of smoldering myeloma has implications for future treatment policies in multiple myeloma because treatment initiation at the smoldering stage is likely to be included in guidelines soon. These results underline the necessity for improved risk stratification in smoldering myeloma. And these are our collaborators. So thank you. <laughs>